What's up, you guys? Welcome to For Kikui Double Shot. We're going to go ahead and throw it back. All right, you guys. So with anything that you do, whether you were starting a fitness program or you're working towards like a new job endeavor, whatever it is, if you get tired, learn to rest instead of quit. Because so burnout is a real thing, okay? And that's what happens to a lot of people. They push so hard and they get stressed out and then they quit. That happens so often. So if you know burnout, I mean, it's not like it happened to one person, right? It happens all the time, all the time. So if you know burnout is a thing, what are you gonna do to prevent that? to prevent the burnout, right? You already know it's gonna happen. Let's just say, go into anything, you already know burnout's gonna happen, okay? If burnout's gonna happen, what am I gonna do to make that not happen, right? Go into it smart, you know? What are you gonna do? So, it's like, what are you gonna do to prevent it? So what's the point in pushing so hard? You know, okay, and. In everything that I teach, I speak to myself, okay? <laughs> I'm basically teaching y'all what I've learned. <laughs> so when I'm talking to y'all, I'm talking to me, okay? So what is the point in pushing so hard? Well, a lot of times you feel like you have to, like it's not really an option, you know? Like not pushing yourself that hard isn't an option because it has to all get done and maybe there's nobody else to help, so you're the one who has to do it. So it's it's not an option, like you just have to do it. That's what you tell yourself, right? That's what you think, you know, you gotta get it all done, okay? Well, visualize yourself, not currently, currently we're on our way, right? Visualize yourself at the end of your wits, at the end, at your wits end, <laughs> visualize yourself burning out and quitting. Just close your eyes and you feel all the stress and then you're just burnt out and you quit. Well then what was the point of pushing so hard? Like all this stuff that had to get done, like or else? What was the point of all that if at the end of it you just quit? So now nothing's getting done. So was all that stuff that you had to do that important? Because now you're not doing any of it. So was it that important? Yes, it may be stuff that you need to get done, but you have to figure out a way to do it in a healthy way so that you keep doing it. Because there will come a point when all that stuff that you had to get done is no longer existing because you quit. You know, so like imagine yourself there. Imagine yourself burning out, quitting, and then be like, okay, well, all the stuff that I have to get done at that point is pointless. It's non-existent. So it doesn't all have to get done. It may feel like that, but you are in control of what you're doing, right? So you just have to be smart about it, prioritize things, get things done, maybe cut yourself off at a certain time each day so that you don't keep going. Like you have to rest, okay? You just have to, <laughs> Tiffany. I like it, you know, like I like pushing myself that much, but I know that it's not healthy. So I do the preventative measures, which I'm telling you to do, to make that not happen. So I make myself, you know, cut it off, make like the end of Friday to Sunday family and friends time, you know, like I don't do a lot of posting on the weekends. If I do, I scheduled it, you know, so that it goes out on the weekends. So I'm trying to be good about it, you know, because I know what's healthy for me and, and you know, the people around me. Like I don't want to neglect the things that I love the most because I'm headed towards a goal, you know? So just do what you can. When you get tired, rest. Don't quit, okay? Just because you're burnt out doesn't mean this isn't gonna work, you know? Like, I just have to quit, I can't do this. That does not, that's not what it means, it, it means you're tired. It just means you're tired, you need to rest, okay? Okay, 
All right, let's get into a workout. We're gonna do upper body today. We're doing three movements. First one is Superman. So, oh, hey. Laying on the ground and then bring your legs up off the ground, your chest up off the ground, squeezing your butt cheeks and you're gonna feel your back engage. What up, my dude? <laughs> Hi, baby. So that's the first movement. Oh gosh, he wants my beanie. You cannot have my beanie, bro. Couldn't have it. You're so cute. Y'all see his little jacket? Okay, the next movement is lat sweeps. Okay, so you're basically gonna be like circling your legs, squeeze one at the top, come back down, okay? So you're engaging your lats. Just like kind of like an oval around your legs, okay? He got me all twisted. All right, and then the third movement is a bent row. So you're gonna bend, but at the top, you're gonna hold for four seconds, then release down, okay? Hold, release, okay? So it's a little bit of a twist on that. Hold, please. Okay, sorry, I forgot to do my clock. All right, let's go ahead and get gar started. <laughs> Make sure you warm up and come back to us, okay? All right, we're gonna start with that Superman. I'm gonna tell you when to rest and when to engage, okay? All righty, here we go. Three, two, one, engage, okay? So come up. We're gonna hold it here for a second. Just pull your elbows back by your side, okay? Shoulders um, out of your neck, okay? So hold here. Breathe. Okay, relax. Three, two, one. Engage. Good job, you guys. Keep holding it. Squeeze those butt cheeks. Make them work. Come on, we're almost there. Holding it for longer today. Three, two, one, relax. Okay, we're gonna do one more. We're gonna rest, two, one, engage. All right, this will be the last one for this round. So we're gonna do three each time for the Superman, okay? Come on, keep holding. Fill in your butt cheeks and your back. It's gonna be good. Come on, we're almost there. Five seconds. Two, one, time. Ugh. All right, stand it up. We're gonna go to that lat sweep. And you wanna lightweight for these, okay? I'm not using heavy weights at all, okay? All right, here we go in four seconds, three, Two, bend it over, one. Okay, remember, we're just circling our legs. Do a one second hold at the top, come down. Make sure your back is flat. Good job, you guys. Come on, keep going. Let's go. How many of y'all are like that? Y'all get a goal and then you get to a point and you end up burning out like every time. Like it's tough for you to stick to something because of how hard you go. Five seconds, keep going. Time, okay. Set those down. Stand it up. All right, we're going to that bent row. Here we go, three, two, one, 
bend it over, hold it, four, two, three, four, hold four at the top. If you're like that, comment below, let me know. And what you have to do is you have to realize if you can, if like you can pinpoint it, what is the point that you get to that makes you quit, you know? Um, well, okay, this is kind of a different topic. So there's burnout, right? And then there's just basically quitting because you get to a point where you feel stuck or you don't enjoy it or you don't uh, know enough. You feel like you don't know enough. All right, time. Um, so burnout will make you quit and then that'll quit and then that'll also make you quit. Let's rest here a second. We're gonna get back into the Superman's, okay? So outside of burnout, when you get to a point that you're heading into your goal, like say it's, say it's me like building my business. I was reading a book. All right, go ahead and lay it down. We're gonna start in 10 seconds. Um, and it was saying, what is the point that you get to where you quit? All right, three, two, one, come up, engage. And when you, when you get to that point, do something about it. So hire somebody that can do it for you, you know, like, um, like figure it out. Cause you know, like figure out that stopping point. What is it, you know, in your mind, you may just think, Oh, I always quit. I always, I can't follow through on things, you know, like, uh, okay. Come down to one rest. But what it may be is that it's, you get to that point and whatever that point that makes you quit is. All right. Two, one, come up. Maybe it's just cause you don't enjoy that part or you, um, or you don't know enough about it, you feel like, or whatever, you know? So, and then that's what makes you stop. Not necessarily your, Earl, Earl. Not necessarily, come down, rest here a second, hold on. What are you eating? All right, come up. <laughs> Last one here. Um, so anyway, whatever that is, like get help at that point, you know? There, there's so many people that have already done what you're doing, whatever it is, like realize what that point is and then get help with it. You know, don't just like quit or fall off or whatever, get help with that part, you know? That was a really helpful tip for me. I really liked that point. All right, we're almost there. Hi, bud. All right, time. Ugh. No, see, I knew he wanted my beanie. Give me that. <laughs> he loves hats and apparently beanies. <laughs> you little stinky. You little stinky butt. All right. Those lots, lots, lots of weeps. Here we go, three, two, one. My issue was like, and I still haven't, haven't, but it was like, well no actually, anyway, uh, like me is like spending money. I'm like, I can do it all myself. Like, I can figure this out, you know? And then I get to a point where I'm like, not enjoying that certain thing, or I'm like having trouble. I'm just like, uh, you know? But I'm like, I'm not gonna spend money on it when I can do it, you know? I can do it. <laughs> so it, in the book, it was like, spend the dang money. I was like, <laughs> are you in my head? Like, what are you doing? Get out. I was like, that's so good. Almost there. Two, 
one time. Ooh, she also like lower back feeling tight. That means we're working. All right. Here we go with the bent row and the hold at the top. Okay, three, two, one. Hold the top. One, two, three, four. Back down. This will be our last movement, okay? Good job today, you guys. Worked our back. Hopefully y'all are feeling it. Thanks for working out with me today. Ooh, I have so much dough hair on my pants. <laughs> Let's go, keep going. Come on, we're close. Push here, keep going. We're coming up to the very end of the 10 minutes. We're gonna push to the end. Okay, 10 seconds. Three, two, one, time. Whew. Oh, good job today, you guys. Oh, stretch it out. A good one would be to like lay like you were doing Superman, but uh, just stretch it up here. Oh yeah. You can feel that in your lower back. Make sure you get a cool down. Thank y'all for showing up. If you enjoyed this, like and subscribe. Come back for more. All right. Love you guys. See you on the next one.